the Prime Minister who will be in uh, Sikandrabad today, the Prime Minister to offer a uh, silk sari. Uh, this is to the goddess uh, Mahakali and uh, he will be in the Mahakali temple. The Prime Minister will also be inaugurating a civil aviation research organization. The Prime Minister will be launching projects worth uh, over 9,000 crore rupees in uh, Telangana Sangareddy. The Prime Minister uh, will lay the foundation stone of uh, 6,800 in Sangareddy in Telangana to multiple key sectors such as road, rail, petroleum as well as natural gas and that's going to be taking place at about 11 o'clock this morning followed by a public address and we also said that the Prime Minister is expected to visit the Sri Ujjaini Mahakali Temple and then in the afternoon the Prime Minister will inaugurate um, uh, foundation and lay the foundation stone for projects uh, worth 19,600 crore rupees and that's going to be taking place in Orisha. So all in all the Prime Minister will be inaugurating projects worth 26,400 crore rupees. Uh, let's uh, just go across uh, to my colleague Uma who's going to take us through the agenda. Uma, First things first, a lot of planned, uh, you know, with the Prime Minister back in Telangana uh, this morning. Uh, what can we expect? Uh, we do know that a trip uh, to the Sri Ojeni Mahakali Temple is on the cards. Yes, indeed. This is the second leg of the Prime Minister's uh, two-day visit to Telangana. He had gone uh, after uh, visiting Adilabad yesterday and addressing a public meeting. He had gone to uh, Tamil Nadu, Kalpakam, uh, addressed a public meeting at uh, Chennai and then came back to Hyderabad in the night. And this morning, he is going to be at the Ujjaini uh, Mahakali Temple and about 100 uh, meters away from the <coughs> temple. Of course, because of security reasons, the area has been barricaded and police have been deployed everywhere. What do I, uh, What I should point out to you, is that this is a very crowded area, more than 200 year old temple and very, very uh, special uh, in terms of sentiment and uh, uh, religious value for the people of Telangana and he will be visiting there and what we understand is that he is also going to be presenting a silk sari to the goddess here, following which he will be going to Begampet Civil Aviation Research Organization uh, and from there he flies uh, by a chopper to Sangareddy where uh, the uh, kicking off of several development projects, dedication to the nation as you mentioned, infrastructure fuel uh, and also other uh, uh, projects that will be inaugurated there after which the public meeting will happen. So I must point out the highlights of what he did yesterday in Adilabad itself where in fact Chief Minister Revant Reddy had gone to receive him at uh, Adilabad and he had in fact uh, extended should I say a hand of friendship and ironically on a day when the Prime Minister was talking about criticism that he does not have any family, uh, Revant Reddy said in fact that the Prime Minister is is a big brother uh, to not just Telangana but to all the states and that for Telangana to develop like Gujarat uh, he would like the blessings of the Prime Minister. He made a reference uh, to also the uh, Sabarmati in uh, in, uh, in uh, Ahmedabad and uh, said that uh, you know just the way the Sabarmati had been developed there he would like uh, the Musi river to be developed here and uh, the Prime Minister of course uh, seemed warm and uh, uh, greeted uh, the uh, chief minister and also shook hands with him after the address. This is of course in sharp contrast uh, to the former uh, chief minister Mr. KCR who for the last couple of years had stopped attending even the official functions of the prime minister here in Telangana. But what I must say is that subsequently the prime minister answered uh, the comment made by uh, Mr. Lalu Prasad Yadav, RJD leader and the prime minister said that the 1.4 billion people of the, of, uh, the country are in fact uh, my family and subsequently the uh, BJP in fact mounted a campaign on social media where every leader in their bio had added Modi ka parivar to say that all of us are family to uh, Modi. So that possibly could become the kind of a game changer that perhaps the Chokidar comment of Rahul Gandhi had uh, triggered everyone to say Main bhi Chokidar and in this case everyone writing Modi ka parivar and that could become a social media trend as well. So the Prime Minister will be in Sangaradi in a short while and uh, what kind of an attack he mounts on the BRS and the Congress, that is something that we have to wait and see because yesterday he spoke for the first time about the Kaleshwaram project and said that even though the Congress is criticizing the BRS, yet they are not making documents public and not taking the investigation forward because he said both the BRS and the Congress are two sides of the same coin. Back to you. Right, uh, Uma, well, uh, of course, uh, the Prime Minister was in Tamil Nadu yesterday and he said that whenever he ca does visit Tamil Nadu, it gives some people a stomachache. Yes, indeed. Uh, 
the Prime Minister very clearly giving the political push in the south of the country and that's why the fourth visit to Tamil Nadu just in the new year and uh, the Prime Minister has been uh, quite sharply critical of uh, the DMK and family politics. That's something that he speaks about whenever he comes to, uh, you know, to a Telangana or to a Tamil Nadu and speaks about nepotism uh, that is uh, part of it and in fact in the last visit he had spoken about uh, the AIA DMK, uh, the, 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 the big figures in the AIA DMK whether it's an MGR uh, or a Jailalita, whether that was an appeal directly to the vote bank of those people who are uh, uh, you know admirers of Jailalita and an MGR or was he appealing to the AIA DMK itself which in fact left the NDA alliance and decided to go alone in the elections. The uh, BJP certainly looking for good alliances not yet worked out well in Tamil Nadu yet but in Telangana at least uh, the BJP very very clear that they are not in alliance with anyone they are going to be going alone here and they are hoping that uh, it will be one of the states that will give them good numbers in the Lok Sabha elections. Uh, you would recall that in 2019, four, uh, four MPs had won from here from the BJP in Telangana. And this time round in the first list, we already have three sitting MPs who have been re-nominated. Nine out of the 17 seats already announced by the Prime Minister, uh, by the uh, uh, BJP for uh, uh, the candidates here in Telangana. Tel Tamil Nadu list, of course, not yet out. Not of, none of the other states other than Kerala, where of course 12 out of the 20 seat names have been announced. But very clearly, the BJP's quick push in the south and that's why multiple visits by the Prime Minister not just to launch development programs there is also a political message that he carries along with that. Back to you.